What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? I'm in traffic right now, so I just got a minute, and I was I was talking to someone earlier this morning about uh, something I had saw yesterday on the I Am Athlete podcast, and this is in regards to the episode with the real Tarzan, and uh, when B Marsh was talking about um, the experience when he almost made the wrong decision in in college that could have jeopardized his entire career and really would have changed his life and went down a whole nother road potentially. Um, So I'm going to try to summarize this. So essentially what he said is like he was in college, his, his mom, his sister, everybody was living in a hotel and you know, he was, they were broke and he needed money like he's in college he can't work he got all this stuff so you know he knew someone that was selling weed and he he got an ounce and he wanted to sell weed right and then he was saying well his dad was a drug dealer so a uh, big time drug dealer whatever so he called his dad and told him and his dad's response was well if you're going to do this let me come and show you how to do it so you don't get in trouble it's pretty dope, right? And then, so he comes to the school, talks to him, and then he leaves. And then he's like, you really about to throw all this away? And 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 so he doesn't. And then Brandon Marshall does not end up selling the drugs and ends up, you know, deciding to just get by and whatever, right? And so the real Tarzan had comment, and I loved his comment. I really did. Because it's it's really important and it's true. You know, having Brandon Marshall being able to have his dad that he could call and his dad shows up and gives him some game and then leaves and then is like, are you really about to do this? Like, that was great that he was there and, and he actually made that call and kind of switched. But here's the thing. I don't want to idolize this. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to act like this was such a great thing because Brandon Marshall's dad's first response was, let me come and show you how to sell drugs. Let me show you how to do it so you don't get caught. If you're going to do this, let me show you how to do it the best way so you don't get ripped off, screwed over, taken advantage of, whatever it was. Let me show you the game. That's, That's like some, that's some real shit. But at the same time, why wasn't his initial response like, son, are you serious? Like, I'm selling drugs because I got to. You don't got to. Your physique, your this, your that, blah, blah, blah. Like, your speed, your ability to catch and this and that. Like, you got a God-given talent, son. Like, you don't need that. And, and, and here's my thing. If your dad is a big-time drug dealer with all this money, why don't you have no money? Why don't he just give you some money if you need some money? You feel me? He was saying his dad sent him ten dollars. Like, why would you want to learn game from someone that you telling that you saying that got money, that's in the game, that's selling drugs, but he don't give his son none. He don't give his kids none. I don't want to learn from nobody like that. I'm glad you didn't take that lesson, and I hope everything he told you, you didn't listen to it. Man, because that that was crazy. That really bothered me. I didn't think about that last night when I was watching the show. And I'm going to put something out, too, because I got a lot of different videos, you know, where I recorded from snippets. That was a really great show. You know, but the thing is, yes, we do need our father. And that's why I don't sell drugs. I could easily sell drugs. And I could easily be successful at it. I'm very successful at anything I do. So if I sold drugs, I'd be a really good fucking drug dealer. The problem is I'm not willing to risk my life, my freedom, my time with my kids and my family and all that just to go make some money real quick. No matter if it's quick, easy, a lot of money, I don't give a fuck. It's not worth me going to jail for. It's not worth it. And with all these motherfucking snitches and police and all this shit out here, you going to get caught. It's going to catch up to you. You're not going to elude the whole shit. You can elude it for a long time or you can do a really good job. Maybe when you get hemmed up, you don't get hemmed up too bad. But I'm telling you, it's not going to just never, nothing's going to happen. So I'd rather just get out here and hustle and grind and get my money legit 
in a way that I'm not selling drugs and risking my freedom. You know, because there's enough shit out here that I got to worry about besides going to jail over some drugs. I got to worry about just getting through life and not beating someone's ass or or running a motherfucker off the road or what the fuck ever it is because of normal everyday life shit. You know what I'm saying? So I don't need to, I don't need to worry and stress of, oh, looking over my shoulder every fucking minute because of, uh, of some dirty deal or somebody did me dirty or I did someone dirty or whatever the fuck happens because that's the shit that happens when you get caught up in that life. You're going to get caught up in some bullshit because everybody that you rock with, that you run with, that you deal with ain't going to keep shit 100. They not going to be loyal. They not going to do this. And I know all of this ahead of time. Because you got to peep game. You got to watch motherfuckers that's really out here doing this shit. See how they move. See how their life is like. Do you want to live like that? Yeah, it might be cool to have nice cars or nice clothes or some jewelry or to go on a trip or this or that. But I'm trying to tell you all that other stuff that come with it, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. It's so much easier to do the right thing. Kind of like that smile versus frowning. You know how they say it's so much easier to smile than to frown. You use a lot more muscles in your face to frown than you do to smile. So why are you going to frown? Why are you going to take all of that energy and waste it on something that's negative? You feel me? So shout out to Brandon Marshall's dad for calling him back after trying to give him game and telling him this is not a good idea. But you should have did that in the first place. You should have been giving your kids and your people money so they would, all right, while you out here selling drugs because what's going to happen when you get caught, when you get hemmed up? All that money that you was making, saving for the next blah, 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 whatever, you know what I'm saying? Now you got to pay it for bail. Now you got to pay it for a lawyer. So you just, you did all that shit for nothing because all them thousands of dollars you fucking made went right in the fucking lawyer's pocket. And that's and that's why I'm not, I'm not going to risk that shit. But I'm so thankful that he called him afterwards and told him some real shit of, look, this ain't what you want to do, son. And 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 hopefully and may, it was that call that saved his life. You see what I'm saying? Because not only could he went down the wrong path and not ended up in the NFL, he could have ended up dead. So all you fathers out there, make sure you stick around for your kids. Make sure that you that you there doing the right thing for them. And make sure if you got some motherfucking money that you giving it to your kids, to your baby moms, to all that. And for all you leeching ass bitches out here, all you baby mamas that just want to fucking take a motherfucker's all they goddamn money and make their pockets dry. Fuck you. Fuck you. Straight like that. Because we as men is out here and, and, and like me, for right now in my situation, I don't have a whole lot of money to give my kids. But it's cool. I know it's coming. But I make sure I spend my time. And if my kids really, really need or want something, they got it. Now, they're not overly spoiled, but they spoiled enough to where I really don't have to worry about everyday shit for a long time. Because they got enough stuff to hold them over. And I'm there. I hug them, I kiss them, I tell them I love them, I talk to them, I, I, I cook for them, I do things for them, I'm, I'm a dad. So, so for all you women that think, oh, well, where's my child support money, where's this? Fuck that. I'd rather have a motherfucker helping me uh, with food or picking my kids up or dropping them off and doing all this other stuff than to have a few hundred dollars in the account. Because here's the, here's the other thing, y'all, females don't understand, especially now if you if you one of them dads that's really not in your kid's life and you gone for, for a week, two weeks, and you get them every other weekend for two days out of 14, like, then yeah, you need to be paying fucking child support and helping out because she's doing all that shit the other 12 fucking days. That's a whole different ball game. But when a motherfucker is there like almost every day, every other day, blah, 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 blah. Anytime when you call, motherfucker is there. Like, you better hold on to that shit because I'm trying to tell you, it's really hard when you got to do it by yourself. Because we as men, we have to always do it by ourselves. Most of the time, 98, 99% of the time, there's very few fathers out here that have their kids. You know what I'm saying? That don't have to, that 
don't have to pay child support because they put themselves in the right position. Maybe she cheated. Maybe they was able to get over it, get the custody, get this. Maybe she paying everything. Maybe she a deadbeat and she don't want her kids. So she's like, fuck it, you take them and I'm going to go run the streets. There's situations out there like that. I, I'm aware. Okay. But what I'm saying for the most part, men out here doing everything on our own because ain't nobody paying us child support. So when you asking for three, four, five, six hundred dollars a month in addition to me having to pay my mortgage, me having to pay my car payment, me having to pay for the food, for my food and for the kids' food and for this and that, for me to have to pay for the gas to go pick them up, for me to have to pay for my insurances and all that. Like I got all my everyday bills just like you do. And I got my kids almost as much as you do. So why the fuck do you get all the money and I got to sit over here and struggle the whole time? That's what I don't understand. I don't, and I don't understand how a judge or how a legal system can even can even uh, get in a mind that that shit is okay. And then, and then what it does, you know what it does? It, it pushes fathers out of their lives, out of their kids' lives. Because they get so behind, they get this, they give up. Or they get locked up. So now you lock me up because I'm not paying child support. To what now? What benefit are you doing now? You take my license away because I'm not paying child support. What now? How can I go to work now? You fucking took my license away. How you want me to go work? To pay you. And that's what y'all bitches don't understand. Y'all motherfuckers just want to ruin a motherfucker's life and take everything that they got away from them to hurt them and take them away from their kids. And then their kids is out here in the real world and they deal with situations like this with, with Brandon Marshall and then they don't have a dad there. Because they mom pushed them out of their life. Because they mom did this and that. And they separated and they, and they, and they, and they created this void. Men, don't let them women do that. Don't let them separate you from your children. Don't let them don't let them do that. Don't let them ruin a relationship with your kids. Don't let the courts do that. Don't let the judge do that. Don't let them get the best of you. You got to be mentally prepared for that. And when it comes, you just accept it because it's only temporary. Even if even if say you get locked up or you lose your license or or this or that happens, all oh, that's temporary. It's going to go away. You know what I'm saying? And then after that, everything will be all right. So you got to just, you got to be, you got to stick it out. You got to go through it. Just go through it. Don't go around it or underneath of it or stand beside it. Or just go right through it. It's going to take some time. It's going to be hard. But once you get through it, you're going to be, you're going to be happy that you stuck it out. You, you learned a lesson took something from it and you apply it to your life for next time and that's what it's all about but be there for your kids stop getting locked up stop letting stop letting the system and society and all this fucked up shit lead you into thinking that this is the only way and i get it i get it trust me i get it y'all can sit here and think oh you a white boy you got this you got you don't know shit about nothing you don't know a motherfucking thing about nothing. And I'm not saying I've been out here in the streets and I've sold drugs and I've been out here doing all this shit and I know, so you need to listen to me. But trust me, I fucking know. You know, they, they say a wise man is, is, is someone that's able to learn from someone else's mistakes. You know, when, when you don't have to make a mistake, you can see someone else make a mistake. But you yourself can learn from it. That's 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 wisdom. That's wisdom. So so you got to expose yourself and experience things, whether it's you yourself or whether it's vicariously through someone else, you know, through their story, through their testimony, through their life of how you should move, how you should operate. How, how you need to navigate through life. If y'all don't know, if y'all made it this far to the end of the video, we about to wrap this up. But uh, go on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and search up It's The Prophet. I-T-S-T-H-A-P-R-O-F-I-T. I'm out.